What's up, guys? It's your girl, Sarah the Alchemist. Welcome to my channel. Shout out to all my Alchemists out there and a lovely big welcome to all new here. Also, shout out to all my new subscribers too, guys. Your like, share, and subscribe are truly appreciated. So the energy has been kept for this reading, Alchemist. I do ask that you please do your due diligence and take the messages that resonates and leave what doesn't at Hell's Gates. Okay, my Alchemist. And don't forget, we stay cute, speak the truth, and transmute all negative energy. Ashe. Happy Monday, guys. I hope you guys are having a blessed day. Let's get into your energy and see what Spirit wants you to know and will be aware of. Thank you, Spirit. So you have made many attempts on your life since you were a child. So this could be a karmic family that's been making attempts on your life, um, made attempts on your life since you were a child. Someone could be speaking aloud. I was just about to say aloud. Someone may like girls aloud, but liked girls aloud. They ain't, they ain't in business no more. <laughs> they were a good team, though. They were a good team. Give me some more energy here, please, Spirit. What does my alchemist and collective need to know? Thank you, Spirit. Oh, guys, we have has a clothing or personal item of yours. So it's giving me spell work that's being thrown out here. Someone could have been doing spell work on you since you were a child. Okay. Yeah, we got singling out here. So you guys could be single. Or this could be a singling that's doing this. <laughs> singling. Single like Pringles. What else do you have for my alchemist, Spirit? Let me get into this message. Couple more cards. Thank you. We've got has explicit videos and pics of children out here. Gentlemen's club. This could be someone who goes to a gentleman's club. All right. We have hidden evidence on the laptop. Oh, so this could be significant. Let me get the. Let's actually go with the tarot deck and then we'll get into the kipper deck. I'm just gonna pull some energy with this spirit. Mm, mm, mm. Give me some energy here, please, Spirit. I've made many attempts in your life. Damn, we got the Ten of Cups out here. With the Ten of Cups that's popped out, guys, it's kind of giving me the energy of someone not wanting you to have this Ten of Cups in your life at all. It's kind of giving me the energy of people not wanting you to have any form of marriage, any form of stability, any form of abundance, all right? Any form of security. Give me a um, second, let me close this window. Who the hell's making this window at this time of the morning? It's kind of giving me the energy of someone just not wanting you to have this Ten of Cups energy, all right? And this could be why people have been actively doing spell work on you for a minute now, all right? Give me some more energy. For some of you guys, you could be married. For others of you guys, you could be a singling, all right? Maybe this is the Ten of Cups energy that's coming towards you, and this is the Ten of Cups um, energy that these people have been trying to block, all right, from you to not receive this Ten of Cups. Yeah, we've got the Eight of Cups out here in reverse, guys. Because someone has a fear of moving on. I feel like it's this karmic family or whoever it is that's been doing active spell work on you to stop you from having or stop you from moving on and becoming anything for anyone. And also with the Eight of Cups ahead, this is someone not able to accept their lot. All right, so someone who doesn't like to take any form of accountability. And there we go with the Sun card. There we go with the Sun card. So I feel like you guys, whoever I'm talking to, you're exuding a lot of energy and um, confidence within yourself at the time. Maybe when you were younger, you weren't someone who was able to express yourself in a in a healthy way, or you weren't even able to express yourself at all. Maybe you came from a family that made you, um, what's the word, hold in your emotions. Maybe you came from a family that didn't let you express your emotions in a healthy way, while they actively put all their emotions and their fears and their insecurities onto you. And I feel like this is possibly what even hindered you from having this Ten of Cups energy because you had to heal from a lot of things that happened in your past that was actually projected and thrown onto you on account of the family in which you grew up in. Guys, this is what I'm really picking up here, all right? And also, for some of you guys, uh, I should, always should put a trigger warning, but I don't know how some of these messages are going to come out here. Someone that you grew up with may have explicit pictures and videos of you from when you were a child. This could be someone who's continued in the same pattern, all right? Someone who likes to go to the gentleman's club, or maybe this person likes to say they're going to the gentleman's club, all right? Whoever this individual is, whoever this pedo is, this person has some type of hidden evidence on the laptop, so this person could even be getting caught up for this. And there we go, the death card, so that's confirmation. Spirit's about to put an end into this situation. Spirit's about to put an end into this individual and the energy that they've been putting out there. Because we are in the year number cycle seven, guys, so whatever you put out is coming right back to you. Yeah, and these people are trying to stop your, your abundance, stop your flow. They didn't want you to have nothing, so they're about to not have nothing. And you're about to get into your flow of abundance, yeah. All of you guys, you're going for a spiritual awakening, spiritual transformation at this time, all right? With death brings new beginnings. Yeah, we've got a full card out here. These individuals that have been making a lot of foolish and impulsive decisions and reckless choices like that to block and stop your path, all right? They made a poor judgment here. 
in investing in whatever it was that they did to you. And that's confirmation with the magician card out there. That's just magical, the, the magic that these individuals have been doing on you since you're a child backfiring and now falling back onto these individuals. Yeah, with the magician card out here, back, this signifies backfired spell works. And because the spell work is backfiring, these people are becoming weak. Um, spiritually, a lot of them are already spiritually weak because they operate on the dark side, but they're also becoming weak within their vessels, right? So a lot of these people could even actively be in bad health right now. A lot of these people are feeling frustrated at this time as well because whatever it was that they had invested in doing to you since you were a child is no longer working. They don't have you in their grips, in their clutches like they had you when they had you. And that's right, that's your justice, guys. All right, with the sun card, I also feel like there's some type of illumination coming to this situation. All right, for some of you guys, this message may be clarity to you. Maybe you had some type of thoughts and um, intuitive knowing that the people that you grew up with didn't have your best interest at heart. Maybe there was always um, active gossip, active lie, active slander. There was always some type of drama going around and you never really felt like you belonged here. Yeah, because you're different. You're the star seed. You're the chosen one. All right. Maybe these people even outed you. They could even black sheep you. Black sheep you. I don't even know that's a thing. But they create. They made you the black sheep of the family. You are the black sheep of the family, and you were the black sheep of the family for the right reason because you want. You want to be involved in these individuals out here doing all this weird, reckless, and shady shit. Mm -hmm. We have the page of ones out here in reverse. So these people are now acting out because whatever it was that they've been doing to you for a minute now ain't working no more. Mm hmm. Whoever this page of ones out here, page is kind of giving me young energy. So this does really go with many attempts in your life. These people have been doing this um, energy of handing out their one like their motherfucking Harry Potter since you were a child. Maybe you like Harry Potter. Maybe you were someone who liked um, um, a lot of magical things here. Maybe you like to watch a lot of magical fairy tales or a lot of magical um, movies, movies that had magic in it. I feel like whoever I'm talking to, you are closely connected to like glitter and, and things that felt impossible because yeah even a song impossible from cinderella may even be impo um, impossible <laughs> it may be relevant to you maybe that was one of your favorite songs maybe that was one of your favorite movies right maybe you growing up feeling like um, everything was impossible and you would never attain any form of happiness or stability but that's because all these individuals out here that you grew up with were casting this illusion that you wouldn't have that possibly because these individuals won't have that and for those of you who knew there was people in your family that were married they weren't happily married not for sure um, a husband cheating on them, wife, all, all sorts of infidelities, cheating, scamming, robbing. Yeah, and they were trying to project that energy onto you to no avail. All right, for some of you guys, you may have gotten into the mindset of saying, I want to stay single, I don't want to have a family because of the family you grew up in. But that's these people imposing their false values onto you because of what you've grown up seeing, and that's why collectively and individually, we all have to heal what we've gone through as a child so that we don't take full face value of life and relationships from what we've seen, from what we've falsely seen at that, guys, because all these people out here showed you was the false way of being loved, okay? False way of, of respecting each other because these people don't love or respect each other because they didn't love and respect you, yeah. And that's why they're going through it now because for a lot of you guys, you've taken your energy back and you separated from these individuals, yeah. We have Ace of Wands out here in reverse. You see how the Wands are coming out here in reverse with the Magician card out here in reverse? I'm telling you, their magic is backfiring and it's falling onto these individuals now. So if these people don't want you to have any form of stability in, in, in your life, they don't have any form of stability in their life right now. That's why they're actively going crazy. That's right. Ace of Wands out here, they've missed an opportunity. I must have gotten the energy of they missed the opportunity to reunite with you or missed an opportunity to get you back into their clutches. I feel like they've even actively been working to get you back into their clutches. Possibly even sending flying monkeys to you or even false lovers to find out what you're doing like you just know how narcissists are when they don't have you in their grips or their clutches anymore the lengths that they go to to spy on you to stalk you to hack and um, just to do everything to get information on you that's that's how narcissists are and i feel like for a lot of you guys you come from a family of narcissists people don't know how to take accountability people who like to blame each other and people who like to cause a lot of misfortune and pain onto um, the lives of other individuals some of these people may even be sado um, um, and say sadistic individuals people who are into uh, what's that word sadism maybe you like that just people who like and um, they feel happy by seeing other people in in pain even some get aroused by seeing people in pain here that's why i'm picking up yeah we have the strength card out here and it did come out here in in the middle guys so i kind of feel like balance is actively being restored at this time your spirit team your ancestors your divine ancestors are coming through and clearing all this work that these people have been sending to you since you're a child and even actively now all right and i'm also for that spirit is calling for you to have your strength at this time whilst all of this energy clearing goes through we just had the full moon um yesterday guys i think it was in scorpio or in, or in, Sag in sagittarius all right 
take the energy for some of you guys maybe needing to rest a lot all right rejuvenate yourself um just clear the fog of all that doesn't serve you anymore and release what no longer serves you give me some more energy please spirit to our cups out here for some i do feel like these people have been sending you um false lovers but i'm kind of picking up new energy with those two of cups out here guys so I'm really getting you in. Yeah, with the Six of Swords. You guys are moving on to calmer waters. You're healing and you're progressing on your journey. And you've left a lot of these individuals behind. An Aquarius could be significant. A Cancer could be significant here. Cancers usually signify um, family a lot. All right. But some of you guys, you've definitely had to walk away from your family. But I'm kind of picking up the energy of someone new. Okay. Wanting to come in and show you something different. This is you moving on to calmer waters and you guys actively also healing from what you've had to endure, overcoming hardships and stability. I feel like someone wants to come in now with these two of cups and offer you some form of stability, emotional stability, mental stability, all right? But some possibly even financial stability. You never know. You never know. Alchemists get to manifesting because you deserve the life you truly deserve to live and not the life and what other people have projected onto you. That's right. Thank you, spirit. We've got the lovers at the back of the deck. I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all. Lovers in the air. One, 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 one on the timer. Thank you, spirit. Lovers in the air. Lovers in the air, alchemist. Tap in, baby. For some of you guys are just too on this healing journey where you're like, I don't even want love. I just want to focus on myself. Okay, Empress. And you do. You better do that. You better love and nurture on yourself. But I feel like it's someone who wants to love and nurture on you okay is what i'm seeing yeah emperor you're someone who takes care of your home and not just home outside of you home within you because you know where your trim home lies yeah your vessel is your first home give me some energy here a lot of you guys could be healing your your body now maybe eating cleaner all right maybe um letting go of unhealthy um habits that you used to do possibly on account of the trauma that you faced as a child maybe you're breaking out of those mindsets and chains now that these people had you um chained to and you're rediscovering who you really are outside of the bubble that these people try to put you in. And I love that energy, Alchemist. Give me some more. Ooh-wee. What's this here? We got the Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. What is this? What's this card that came? We have the Knight of Cups out here in reverse. Mm -mm. Yeah. But a lot of you guys, I feel like because you grew up in a family of narcs, you attracted a lot of narcs, sadly. Yeah, we had the Knight of Cups out here in reverse. So you've been in a lot of relationships where it was unrequired love. One-sided love where you were doing more for the individual than the individual was doing for you. This is the people who like to cross your boundaries, right? And because you come from a family who overcrossed your boundaries, they didn't respect your boundaries. You ended up meeting people who ended up doing the same thing, right? And maybe these people that you met made you feel more weak within yourself, made you feel less than. That's because that's how, exactly how these people felt within themselves. You see, narcissists are master projectors. They project what they feel internally, externally, because they don't want to feel what they truly feel internally, externally. So they have to make other people feel what they feel. And that's why they're weak. You see what I'm saying, y'all? Yeah. yeah. They like to invade people's boundaries. They like to invade people's space. They ain't got no wits about themselves. But you guys can definitely expect new beginnings here with the Ace of Pentacles too. All right? For some of you guys, you could be working on something new at this time. That may be bringing you a lot of abundance. For some of you guys, kind of picking up the energy of... um. You could even be getting into um, content creating, all right? Some of you guys even need to share your stories from what you've gone through as a child and what you've gone through in relationships. You know, you never know who, three, three, three on the timer just then, who you're, um, who you could be helping and how far what you're doing could take you. All right, for some of you guys, I feel like you're needing to get out of your, your comfort zone and do something different, do something out of the grain. Don't be contained in the bubble in which this false family of people who don't even truly know themselves try to put you in. Right? I feel like these people saw you as someone with, with a lot of imaginations, a lot of gift and a lot of creativity. And these people wanted to siphon your gifts, your energy and your creativity so that you wouldn't be anyone. Because internally, they don't feel like they're someone. And that's where they need to stay at, not project that fuck fake energy onto you. You see what I'm saying, Alchemist? Yeah, take your power back, take your energy back. You are the Empress. Thank you, Spirit. Yep. Five of Pentacles out there, these people going through it at this time. A lot of these people, because you've taken your energy back from these people, they don't have your energy to use for manifesting. You have a whole family of people who are manifesting off your energy, all right? You could have had cousins that got high paying jobs off your energy. And since you've taken your energy back, these people are losing it all, as they should, because it was never their true energy. They need to be manifesting off their own energy. You see what I'm saying out here? It was like literally a family of energy vampires. All of them had some type of tube 
or cord, as you would call it here, guys. It had some type of cord, four for four on the time, just then connected to you, but they're all siphoning your energy. And also, when people, because people think spell work is just done through candles and all that stuff. No, even speaking ill of someone is a form of spell work. You have a group of people that have congregated together and spoke ill of your name. So they're trying to project all the falseness and the lies that they're speaking about you onto you to make it seem like that's who you are. So these people are trying to portray you, Empress, in some type of false light to make it seem like you're not who you really are, to make it seem like you're not, no you're not loving, you're not caring, you're not nurturing. And they took the light that you exhumed on and put it onto themselves. So they made themselves seem like they were loving they were nurturing they were kind when they weren't they were just false people who were doing a lot of sh false shady shit out here to pretend to be someone that they they were using your energy and that's why spirits putting an end in this you're taking your power back you guys are spiritually transitioning and these people that were using your energy fortunately using your energy any type of way to manifest good things in their life any form of stability they're now losing all of that stability because it weren't real it was an illusion just like you we have six of ones out here they're illusions yeah delusional illusions we have six of ones out here what i say y'all success winning that's right you guys now have the advantage you have the advantage because you took your power and your energy back these people don't you're about to have major success in your life and wherever you touch or put your energy and your mindset to you these fuck motherfuckers in the past damn we got the lovers card that actually flipped out in reversal it could even be an ex-lover that's trying to come back into your energy Mm -hmm. someone who doesn't like to take any form of accountability this could be someone who ghosted you a lot this could be someone who had a lot of third parties this could be someone who didn't have any form of respect for you like i said guys because the person didn't have any form of respect for themselves see what i'm saying you give what you get Ten of, um, ten of swords out here in reverse is exactly what these people did to you. Ten of, ten of swords you since you were a child. Betraying you, lying on you since you were a child. Deceiving you since you were a child. Doing spell work on you since you were a child. And you guys have come out of that. I'm going to give you guys an, an, an um, what's the word, analogy. Analogy that will help you overcome whatever it is that you're going through now. You see these ten of swords out here? Just put it in the upright for a minute, alchemist. All these swords these people put in your back. They don't have no more swords. Why? Because they put the swords in your back. So guess who has all the swords now? You do. And you're not actually on the floor. In the, in, for a hot minute, they had you. You see the, the, the being on the floor like, damn, they, they got me, man. They pinned me down. Yeah, you guys may have felt like that for a hot minute. But you have the swords now. Spirit done took all those swords out your back. You have the swords. They ain't got no swords. Where do you think them swords going back? Right back to Senna. That's right. Right back to Senna. One by one. Collect your swords. Collect your karma. That's for your um that's for your karmics right there. You need to collect their swords, collect their karma. They ain't got nothing to attack you with no more. They already threw your past on you. They already dodged you. Alright. They already humiliated you. They already embarrassed you. They already slandered your name. They already gossiped on you. They already stole from you. Everything that they done, all the swords they they already put in your back. What are they trying to do now? It's gonna do something to you. It's like you already showed me your hand, I already seen it. Look at them with the hand there. They already showed you your hand. You already seen it. it ain't nothing left now. That's right. Now they have to collect their karma. Mm -hmm. Seven of cups out here, guys. You definitely have a lot of options. A lot of options in love. A lot of options in businesses. All right. Spirit wants you to chase your dreams. But all of you guys, you could be struggling. You could even be um, juggling with finances. Through seeing there's an ending coming to this. All right. You're just going through a lot of hardships in your life. For some of you, it was some form of spiritual initiation in which you needed to overcome. All right. You needed to go through these phases in your life as hard as it, as hard as it, it has been. It's made you a better person internally. All right, you've elevated to a point where these people, star card out there, these people can't even reach you, they can't even touch you. All they can do is slam on your name. Every, all they can do is do what they've already been doing. And that's all played out now. You see what I'm saying? It's all played out. You've been saying that. You did do that. What's new? Mm -hmm. These are the people that like to bring out your past. Well, she did this or he did this at this age. Okay, you know what you're going to say to them, Alchemist? Yeah, that was me then. This is me now. That was you then. Look at you now. So I'm saying, mm -hmm. you're still the same. Still the same from the game. Ain't nothing changed about you. Whilst you're out here growing, evolving and healing every single day. And that's what these people can't stand because they wanted to put you in the bubble that they're stuck in. No, that's your bubble, bubble butt. That's your bubble. And I hate to burst your bubble, but Spirit's about to burst it for real. So you can actually come into reality and see who you truly are. The demonic entities that you truly, you people truly are. Terrorizing the collective. Disrespecting your children. Creating nothing but drama and fiction in other people's lives. Yeah, you're terrorist. Spiritual terrorist. Thank you, Spirit. So you guys definitely claim your abundance and claim this energy. You have a lot of choices in love, a lot of choices in businesses. 
just multiple choices that are coming into your life at this time. And Spirit doesn't want you to miss out on these opportunities just because of what you've endured in your life. Just because of the false and fake people that have been around you. Yeah, Six of Cups, I heard this is your family. Fake family. And most of picking up the energy, a lot of these fake family members are trying to actively even reunite with you. No, 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 no. What's the, what's the reunite with who? The people that made many attempts in your life since you are a child? I'm talking poisoning out here, y'all. Some people could have even got into car accidents, all right? For some, your parent may even um, try to start a fire in a home and left you there intentionally. You probably had to cool your way out of that, that smoke. Mm -hmm. A lot of attempts have been made in your life, a lot. When all these people want to come and reunite with you, like say so, we have some something in common. We ain't got nothing in common. I'm not a killer like you. We have the King of Swords out here in reverse, guys. Yeah. King. I'm about to say, King. King what? <laughs> King of Swords is a very selfish, premeditated, and ruthless individual. That's exactly what these people are. For some, this could be a father figure. For some, this could even be an uncle. But it could even be a feminine operating heavily out of her masculine energy. For some, this could be a karmic mother, all right? A heavy, narcissistic karmic mother who operates out of her masculine energy. Maybe this is someone who's been abused by men in the past and ended up coming an abuser just like the people that abused her. That's, it. That's, that's how narcissism works. Narcissists become narcissists because they were raised by narcissists. But a lot of us have been raised by narcissists, alchemists, and we don't become like these individuals because we know better. When we know better, we do better. You wouldn't want other people to feel what we've had to endure actively at the hands of these individuals so we don't become like them. Yeah, because we have the initiative, we have the energy to do right, not these individuals here. That's why they want to keep projecting all their false energy onto you. Two of Pentacles, they're out here juggling and struggling now. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Spirit. But as you guys got your Ace of Cups up there, I feel like I don't even need to say, say no more. New beginning, new love, new romantic connections, new friendship connections, new everything, new everything. No new friends, no new friends, no new friends, no, no, no. Yeah, keep the past in the past. Keep that shit on back. You motherfuckers ain't got nothing. They ain't got nothing for you. I'm just keeping it real, guys. They ain't got nothing for you. They already showed you their hand. They showed you their hand. And they showed you the exit too. And you took the exit right on out. You did what you needed to do. That's right. Now you are singling for some. For others of you, you could even be in a romantic connection. For others, you're about to get into a romantic connection with your divine um, counterpart. Okay, Empress. The emperor, I, the emperor didn't come out here in this reading. Because he ain't here yet. For some of you. <laughs> you have Portuguese out there. You guys could be Portuguese. But guys, I'm going to keep it right. Not wrong with being single. You see a lot of people going through shit. It just ain't nothing to just build up yourself, build up your business, build up, just continue loving on yourself and just let the right things flow into your life when they need to come into your life, okay? For a lot of us, I feel like we've made so many mistakes of just jumping into relationships because we want to be loved, because we've grown up not feeling loved. Yeah, you want to feel that sense of belonging, but when you put that sense of belonging in the wrong things around people, we, we end up mirroring or going through the same experiences that we had in our in our childhood because there's things within us that we actively need to heal that we're not healing because we're too quickly trying to jump into relationships yeah i had to learn that lesson for myself guys no i say it ain't, it ain't nothing to cut your bitch off i don't care what i had for you i don't care what i felt for you and i don't give a fuck what you look like or how much dollar dust you got bitch if you're gonna treat me like shit you are shit and you cannot be in my life i'd rather be single than to be with someone who doesn't make me feel loved and 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 valued yeah See, for all of us, that's the lesson that we all needed to learn. And just because you have people that make you feel like you're not loved or valued does not mean you're not loved or valued. They are not loved and they're not valued. I'm keep it real. But we, we stay with our, em, em, with our empath selves. We stay trying to love and value these individuals while they keep devaluing us. And that's why Spirit wants you to take your power back. And that's why for a lot of you guys, you have taken your power back. And that's why for a lot of us, we get our new beginnings. Thank you, Alchemist. New beginnings ahead. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit. 12-12. Contentment with life. A lot of people need to be more content with their life. It's okay to want more. You absolutely do deserve more. But just be content with what you have at this time, all right? And definitely always manifest big. But I feel like for a lot of us, we have to put the work into our manifestations. You can't manifest a, um, a serious relationship by entertaining people from your past that didn't take you seriously. Does that make sense, guys? All right? So be content with what you have. Even if it, you don't feel like you have much now. We have 60s, late 70s, could be someone's grandma or grandparent. Like they could be in their 60s or late 70s, they could even be in their 80s. We have Latino out there. And 999, what did I say, guys? Ending of a cycle. You guys could be seeing 999, 911. You've closed the cycle out with these individuals, with the death card out there. Yeah, that's eclipse. These people won't be able to come into your energy. They won't be able to um, throw all their insecurities onto you. It's time for them to collect everything that they put out there. Thank you, Spirit. You've got a Vauxhall out there in Irish. What's that BMW? 
we have teachers. You guys could be a teacher or someone could be a teacher. Maybe someone's thinking about getting into teaching, all right? Maybe someone in this group could be a teacher. It was the irony. Like, I don't know how Knox end up being in positions in which they don't actually, uh, like, what's the word? My Knox mother is a nurse. But anytime I'd get sick or I'd injure myself, she'd get very agitated and annoyed with me. You're not really sick. No, no, no. You're just attention seeking. But let someone come into the um the hospital with a, a cut on their leg. Oh, let me let me patch it up for you, dear. Let me patch it up. Are you okay? Would you like an ice lolly? Are you alright? Do you want money? Yeah, I'm I'm exaggerating, but that's exactly how it should be. Like people don't know how to take care of the things close to them, but they like to be martyrs and, and, and saints to people outside of them. That's how narcissists move. They want people outside of them to validate them. When the people that are close to them, they mistreat and abuse them. Everyone knows how narcissists are. You see, I feel like back in the day, a lot of us, especially us who grew up in narc, narc homes with narc mothers or narc fathers, okay? Those who grew up in narc, narcissistic families, the whole convo and topic about narcissism wasn't that prominent at the time it's kind of like a thing people just brushed under the rug like people just be oh it's your parent you know it's your parent just you know we have to obey our parents children have to obey and it's just abuse it's abuse that causes a lot of dysfunction there's a lot of dysfunction that causes a lot of generational trauma there's a lot of generational trauma that ends up creating a lot of generational curses so yeah for all those people that are saying oh they're your parents and just leave it being they don't they're, they're all the people that failed you i don't even talk to people who who said all of that shit to me I'd be telling people my mum abused me, she let me get um, sexually assaulted and she stood by, oh, but she's still your mother. She's still your mother. I'm thinking, the fuck? Are you a robot or what? So because she's still my mother, I should stay with someone who doesn't love, respect and care about me because she's my mother. Like, let that make sense. Let it make sense. If you knew a little child was being abused, okay, beaten, being assaulted in any type of way, a little child, let me forget forget me as a grown adult, because I'd be seeing it when I was a grown adult. But if you knew a child was going through this, you ain't gonna go to that child and be like, oh, stay with that person. They're your mother. They're your yeah, you know, they're your family. They really love you. After the child already told you they tried to kill kill you, kill them. You just, just people really be doing shit like this. For a lot of you guys, I feel like you, you've gone through stuff like this. Probably told neighbors, you probably told other family members that your mother or someone was abusing you, and these people did nothing. Yeah, they all failed you like the failures that they are. You have, oh wait, oh wait, something needs changing in your life. For some of you guys, I feel like you have people that you're needing to cut out of your life, all right? For some, it could even be a mindset. Maybe you're needing to change your mindset. I know when we get on this healing journey, it's never easy. For many of years, we've had people project all their falseness, their false lies, and insecurities onto us. So when we get into this healing journey, we now need to decipher what thoughts are our own and what thoughts belong to these false individuals individuals and return back to sender and that does take a really long time all right when i was going through my healing journey um and i was going through my period while i was doing a lot of affirmations i would hear this voice in my head that would tell me otherwise like no you're not going to make it no you're not going to be successful no that's not going to happen for you i'm thinking why 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 would i say this to myself and i just realized it wasn't even my voice it was my mother's voice it was these karmic people's voices trying to tell me that i wasn't going to be nothing because they don't feel like there's something and that's because they didn't make anything out of their life they chose to be who they chose to be yeah and they want to stop you from being who you want to be so i had to cut that and clip that voice out of my head no i said if you don't want be signed you don't want to be him but I'm, I'm definitely going to be signed that in my voice but i'm back to send now and trust me baby you work to charm it worked to charm thank you spirit we got gray eyes out there someone could have gray eyes someone could wear gray contacts you have healthcare worker someone's mother could be a healthcare worker. that's what i'm saying i even have a nan she's a social social worker so she but she does help elderly people like she likes safe, she safeguards people, but she know how to safeguard any of her grandchildren. She know how to safeguard any of her children. In fact, she was using all her children like they were puppets to do her dirty work. Gossip to this one over there, gossip to that one over here. Stop talking to this one over there, stop talking to that one over here. Mm -hmm. Divide and conquer, that's what this woman's MO was. I'm telling you, people get into a position just to abuse their position. It's like they're just in that position for the, for the image. Oh, I'm a nurse. Oh, I'm a social worker. I'm a, I'm a lawyer. What do you do? Fraud. Mm -hmm. We have accumulated karma out there. That's exactly what these people have. 0303, major life reset. You guys are going for a major life reset at this time. With all these people, all these false people being eclipsed out of your energy. For sure. And finally, you have AOA connected to the divine. Someone needs to get more connected with their spirit team, okay? I do understand that some periods of our time, things can get very um, busy for us. And for some of us, our spiritual routine does decline, right? We'll get back into it, right? Spirit team may even be trying to communicate things to you. And I just also want to say, guys, sometimes when you mix and match your energy with wrong ends and karmics like this, your connection to the vine, I'm not saying it, it goes, it just becomes lesser. 
you won't hear more of the messages that are being communicated to you from your spirit team and you'll be hearing more of the false messages that are coming from the entities that run within, in, within these demons so when you're around these folk false family members when you're around these false friends these false people that you came um, um are genuine and they're not genuine your mind may be going in wayward you may be hearing things that aren't actually your thoughts you may be feeling a certain type of way that's not your energy it's just these people and that's why spirit wants you to change them change something in your life and it keeps these people if you haven't already and for those of you who have you're going the right way spirit says that fate was silver and they made a contract right made as many attempts on your life since you were a child it's kind of giving me the energy of a, a, a firstborn sacrifice these people could have made some type of death contract on you since you were a child and they couldn't deliver so now they're in debt with the devil yeah i'm super out there showing you hidden assets mm -hmm. i'm also picking up the energy guys of these people may have even stolen the hidden assets when you were a child and this is why they made many attempts on your life since you were a child so that whatever it was that they stole hid from you wouldn't come to, to surface and you're here to expose that shit that's why spirit says tap in Tap in and listen to the messages that they want to communicate to you. We've got Nigerian out here. So some of you guys will be Nigerian. All right, we have Steve Tattoo. Thank you, Spirit. Or you have an ex-lover that was Nigerian. We have cousin out there. All right, a cousin could be involved in this. A cousin could have personal clothing items rules and could be doing magic on you. That shit falling back onto this person. And if that person has a child, it's falling onto their child too, dumb bitch. We have a smear campaign out there. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, y'all. I'm telling you. As, as if it wasn't bad that like these people were already trying to do a lot of shit behind your back to mess up your life anyway. Then they went they had, they went in front of the scenes. So they were doing all the shady shit behind the scenes and then in front of the scenes, press conference. On today's this evening news. So, so, this person does this. This person does that. All the false lies that they were telling you, putting up on, 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 on the news, broadcasting all your information, all your details, all your secrets. Sprinkled with a whole, 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 whole load of lies is what I'm even picking up, guys. Yeah. All the shady shit they did behind the scenes and all the shady sh the shit they did in front of the scenes. Smear campaign. Lies and gossips on your name. And that's why Spirit's about to reveal all of these individuals for who they really are. Yeah, Brian, I was out there. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, because they're facing judgment. Mm -hmm. We have distant relative out there. Kia and tribal marks or scar. We have Volkswagen. Tongue piercing, IT engineer, free, free one, free guys, spirit says keep going. We have American, 1155, changes are approaching, positive changes, you better claim that energy. We have Mini Cooper, a sister, all right, you could even have a sister that was being um, shady and fake to you your whole life. Maybe you had a sister who your mother favorited, the golden child, when they, when they made you the black sheep. All right, this sister could be someone who's really lazy. This could be someone who, that's what I'm also picking up, guys. I did say, your sister could even be someone who's well accomplished. This person's well accomplished because they were stealing your energy. Yeah, you are the chosen one and you are the golden child. Maybe this sister likes to claim they're the gold, they're the chosen one. They ain't nothing chosen about you. You finna fall with the comic bloodline and comic family you don't come from. Yeah, and the real chosen one, which is you, alchemist, which is you, collective, which is you, chosen ones, you're about to reclaim all your power and energy. So anything of these individuals, anything that these people stole from you, your time, your energy, your wealth, yeah, expect all of that to be returned to you. We also have close friends. We have a close friend that was doing shit on you, or a close friend that was being shady. We have 666 realigned and thought, guys. All right, don't be thinking negatively on account of these individuals. We have 0101, take note of your dreams. I'm telling you guys, I feel like spirit's trying to communicate something to you in your dreams. We have 01, um, sorry, multiple air piercings and Eve. Someone could live on the east side. We also have auntie, whole family. I'm telling you, 222444. You guys are on the right path. You are on the right path if you have been doubting or questioning yourself, okay? We have hazel eyes and 888s. Abundance is at your gate. You hear me? Balance is being restored, guys. 142. Have faith in your abilities. I'm telling you guys, you need to trust yourself more if you don't already, all right? These people reincarnated to redeem themselves, but instead doom themselves. These are past life comics that followed you into this lifetime and end up doing the same shit, thinking they could sacrifice you. And that's where they fucked up. Mm hmm Yeah, target. They made you a target. Not knowing they were the real target. No, they got a target on their back with the devil. Thank you, Spirit. You got immigrant out here, all right? And you guys definitely need to watch out for angel numbers. All right, Spirit team trying to communicate something to you guys. And make sure when you see the angel numbers and you don't really understand what they mean, just Google them, all right? Yeah, like I said, these people have accumulated a lot of karma. And they must have told for their sins. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. They must have told for their sins, and they are. That's why a lot of them are trying to hold on to your energy. You have a lot of these false people trying to come back into your space. Oh, how are you doing? How, how's the kids? For some of you guys, if you have kids, trying to get them where they fit at, show them they ain't got no place to fit at. Never did, never had, all right? Send them back to the depths of hell is where they're going. 
Straight to the depths of hell is where these cowards going. That's what Tupac said. <laughs> yeah, Alchemist. That's my message for you guys today. I hope this message was helpful. I hope this message brought any form of clarity or truth to anyone who needed to hear this, guys. Okay? You ain't got nothing to worry about. You've got so many good things that are coming into your life. Right? Just make sure the wrong people are out of your life before those good things can come in. Because I promise you guys, spirit will naturally put a delay. Mm -hmm. I've been through this. Spirit will put a delay on all the good things coming to you because you're around the wrong people. Spirit does not want you to meddle or share the great abundance coming into your life with the wrong people. These are people who made attempts in your life in the past. So believe me, when you're up and up, they're going to make attempts in your life then. But Spirit's about to put them down to the damper. Death to these motherfuckers. Yeah. You ain't gonna be able to play with your life, play with your top no more. Mm -mm. It's gone on for too long anyway. And now they have to pay the piper. Some of these people may even be crossing over because of the death magic that they were out here sending to you. Some people will even be going crazy at this time. Also getting a lot of mental magic was being sent out to you. If these people threw the whole book of spells at you. Whole book of spells while simultaneously holding the Bible in the other hand. Yeah, that's how you know these people are narcissists. Yeah. Go to church in the, uh, in the morning. Going to the devil's lair in the evening. That's exactly what these people are. Yeah, but you don't clear yourself and you got away from these people. And for others of you, you are needed to get away from these people. All right? And if you are away from your family, be mindful of these lovers that are coming in. If you come across someone that mirrors the same um, behavior as someone you grew up with, as in the person you're with doesn't take accountability, the person you're with is always blaming you, the person you're with is always having third parties, okay? And just doing a lot of weird and shady low-down shit okay if anyone that you're with mirrors the same experiences in which you already have to overcome and in which you're actively even healing from that person isn't for you i'm gonna keep it real with you guys all right that person's not gonna give you your ten of cups but someone out here really is wants someone out here really does want to bring you your, your um to um your ten of cups okay someone does want to take you seriously someone does want to be with you i feel like you need to learn to take yourself seriously first as well and some of for some of us you need to sit with yourself and be with yourself there's nothing wrong with solitude i'm telling you that rejection was for your protection. All right, guys. I'm going to leave the message there. My lovely alchemist. I'll be back with another message. I hope you guys have a blessed day. Okay. Peace, love, and light to you all.